Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here. We're back here in the um, almost a homeowner series. Um, we're back here on the dealership series. Still have got no name for it, so we're gonna go with uh, hmm, big wheel trucks for now. We'll just go just a random name, big wheel trucks. I literally just came up with it, so um, let's find a name so we can change that awful name. Otherwise, we'll be keeping it. So. Um, there's been some changes apparently made to the map. Um, apparently, it, I mean, it got updated, so they actually came by with a whole bunch of bulldozers and actually just plowed the houses right out kind of thing. Yeah, I guess they bought the one house that the guy was living in and they pretty much plowed them all out and they built these. So... Um, yeah, I'm guessing the Ford guy, his place is here, because this is still the same truck. Literally, it's the exact same truck. Anyways, um, we got plans today. Are you kidding me? Okay, so, I had a customer, actually, he came in here and he said he's got a truck, it's not too big. But, uh, what the heck do you call this? I call it... He's driving a monster truck. So he said he wants some, um, I guess a bumper and maybe some fenders added onto it. A couple other things that may look good. So, yeah, this guy's a millionaire. Um, he said possibly a camel wrap. Um, but, actually, I have a truck I gotta go look at today. Now, actually, you know what? We're gonna use Tim's truck today. Actually, can we? Okay, never mind if we can. He doesn't have a hitch on his. For some reason, he has 3,500 yet, no hitch. We gotta change that. Um. But yeah, I know. We're gonna get another shop truck soon. I think, I'm thinking a Ford or a Dodge. So we're not, you know, doing the same. As we were. Or are doing um but yes we you may be asking uh well what do you wow they completely redid this whole side here and this is still the same but still looks good i mean that van's white now and the dealership looks a whole lot different i kind of like the old one how it looked before but anyways um i should actually check over here and see if they did anything yeah i'll catch you guys back in a sec all right so we are going to go, are you kidding me? We're going to go look at this uh, truck. It's actually right up here. I can see it. It's this red Chevrolet. Come on, man. Drive. And so we go slower. All right. Um. So since there's not much room to park, I'm just parking it here for now. Turn this off. Um. Now... Guy said the keys are literally under the tire, so we'll just grab them out. He said, take it for a test drive. I've actually known this guy for a while, so I know him through uh, family, so we're going to just take this truck out for a drive, hopefully not get it destroyed. Jeez, there's so many. Oh, nice. Now you're going to stop right in front of me. Okay, then imagine when you can't drive like this. Alright, so, said it's pretty much an all-stock truck, other than the exhaust step on it, obviously. Um, you truly said, do whatever the hell you want to with it. I'm actually kind of thinking a SEMA build with this thing. I built a truck back a while ago. It was a, an American kind of theme style truck. It was like red, blue, and obviously white. So... I'm actually going to load it up onto the trailer. He knows me super good. He knows I wouldn't steal a truck from him. But, uh, I don't think we'll go with that because I have another idea for this truck. But hopefully eventually soon we can get another one or another truck that, you know, we can do that with and end up doing that. Maybe we'll do a, that to like one of those TLXs or whatever. That's what that monster truck is, by the way. So I'm going to go talk to this guy. I'll catch you guys. All right. We got a deal. So, 
We paid officially 15 grand for this thing. Not too bad. It's actually in pretty good condition. Other than the windows are a little dirty, but I mean, let's be honest, it's going to happen with every truck. Pretty sure mine aren't. Actually, mine aren't. But they're dirty windows, so we'll end up changing that. Jeez, this thing sucks for breaking. Yeah, we got to put something up there with that caravan. Or in the showroom, actually, it might be a little better. We might have the classics in that one. So we'll just unload this. It has a little issue starting, so just notice that. So other than that, all around, it's a pretty mint truck. I don't know, we might swap the frame out on it. I know it has a nice frame on it, but just all around might switch the frame out on it. Is there anything in this bay? Nope. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking maybe we're gonna put a, maybe a 98 frame onto it. I know a buddy that actually has one, so we might just end up getting that from him and putting that onto this truck. I don't know. That depends if the frame's good or not. I'm gonna let the guys get to work on that. I'm gonna get parked up here. Actually, I'm gonna get this other guy's truck into the dealership here. I actually just wanna show you guys what it actually feels like to drive a monster truck. So, I mean, this is gonna be my first time too, so. Let's just go around here and I'll show you guys what it is like to drive a monster truck. Sounds pretty regular. Wonder if you want to tune in that. Actually pretty quick already. So yeah, you could run over things like no problem. Cars, ramps apparently, that are like huger than your wheels. Um like literally check this out, I mean I shouldn't obviously be on this, and I love that these cars don't take damage, somehow that did not work, or that, okay, well, if I can, eventually maybe we'll build one of these monster trucks, and maybe I'll buy a car, an old, I don't know, sedan or whatever, and we can like, drive this up on it, I don't know, I think it's personally a pretty cool truck. What's a train horn? Oh, is it a train horn? Oh, come on, you could have done better with the horn at least. Anyways, I'm going to get this thing into the shop here. Um, I don't think we're going to put it on bigger tires, I don't think we really can. Um, he did say this thing is street legal, surprisingly it doesn't even fit into a parking spot. So. Anyways, I'm going to get this thing into the shop, and I'll catch you guys back when this thing... Alright guys, so we're actually just about to close up shop here. I just wanted to show you guys what we did, because we actually finished both trucks today. So this guy's truck, we actually pretty much, we added a, we cut the hood on it, added this little scoop. Bumper, he already ordered the bumper with the lights on it. He, The wheels got ordered onto it, um, blacked out this part here kept the, the toolbox was there before I actually changed the color of the flatbed here so it kind of fits it a little more um those mirrors he had on the inside I, it's kind of weird he didn't have them on before not complaining though he does now um tinted out the windows and truly the thing we put a tune in it so it's kind of crazy now um also added some lights up at the top here let me just these lights up here we added um but yeah, he should be here shortly. That's why I'm not going to drive it. But I did actually drive it before. and Tim actually took it out there. But I did drive it around before. And it was actually pretty wicked on that uh, tune. So, now we got the Chevy here. Now, this truck, we pretty much put a polished silver onto the front here. Um, put a light bar, blacked out the bumpers, uh, LED headlights, tail lights as well these side lights, the tail lights on the tailgate, um, blacked out the rear bumper, pretty much everything that you see that's like silver, that's the same as the front, um, 
made flip the mirrors around so now they're like this you can flip them in they were seized kind of before put a um, turbo uh, diesel in there so it was just a regular kind of Cummins before actually from a 94 Dodge Ram so we ended up ripping that right out we put uh, a 20 I think a 2018 Cummins in there from a, I think it was a Dodge Ram or a semi um, blacked out the well tinted out the windows um, for the inside we just put a DDC um, sticker on it I don't care for the interior stickers it's but I mean on this one it didn't look too bad that was actually Tim's idea to add it so um, we also added a CB radio as you can see just down there at the bottom um, kept the exhaust the original exhaust pipe added some American force wheels down there so that looks way better now now when this thing starts up it's gonna sound the same now you guys may be thinking uh, buddy isn't that truck a little kind of low looks actually pretty stupid yeah it does but if I flip this switch here we're going up dang right taking an old boring well not so much boring just old Chevy it's a 1984 Chevy to making it look like this just I don't know something about it just looks super good maybe we'll do a whole a whole line kind of a blacked out trucks so if I can get a Ford next that would be actually pretty nice I actually do have a buddy that is selling an old OBS it's the only thing about it well it's a crew cab so we might be able to do something about that but I think that's gonna be all for today's video um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this guy with his uh, monster truck over here I'll just get to the monster truck this guy with his monster truck hopefully will be here soon to pick it up um, and yeah talk to you guys later